Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So my name is Autumn if you're new here and I am on a journey to becoming a healthier and happier version of myself and taking you along with me during that. So today I'm going to be talking about my one week weight loss um, update. It's actually 422 and I have to get this video up in a few hours so excuse the mess. I've just been feeling really horrible today with a headache but I swear once I started drinking my first coffee of the day it's like slowly going away and I took some medicine. So I'm going to be talking about um, like my one week weight loss uh, journey update or whatever. I'm doing a 10 week challenge since there's 10 weeks until summer and I've lost one pound um, this week which I'm really excited. My goal is two pounds but last week it was really hard and uh, I was slipping and I just was overeating and I kept telling myself to stop eating and I was just eating because I felt like I needed to eat when I probably shouldn't have ate like last night I was so full from water I drank this whole um 32 ounces of water and then I just felt the need to eat some cereal last night like really late after I started my fast and I've been trying to get back fasting but I'm gonna go into that but anyways it's just really a mental struggle uh when it comes down to it like you're so used to eating a certain way and um you know like i'm trying to like break that okay so basically i'm going to talk about some of the things that i'm going to do this week to like carry on so actually i'm going to be working out monday through friday and i told me and my husband like usually every week on tuesdays the gym just never happens because we're busy stuff happens like it just is never in the plan so we're gonna be working out Monday through Friday and he's like all aboard too and he'll work out Tuesday and I just won't work out Tuesday. Like I don't know what happens mentally. Tuesday's just not my day and I like make excuses, but whatever. So to keep it simple and I really would like to just do this is just work out Monday through Friday. Simple. Just go to the gym. Have the weekends off. And if you still wanna work out, you can, but like that's just what I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to try to take Carnage Shred three times a week. Um like when I have like a heavy or like a crazy intense workout uh just because of the fact that it helps you burn fat it's my husband's but I used it a few times and I really like the way it looks and he gets shredded like extra fast with that it allows you to like sweat more and burn more so I'm gonna be doing that and then I'm gonna be fasting the 16 8th method 16 8th method again so I fasted before and I'm gonna keep fasting I'm gonna get back on it because I keep making excuses of why I feel the need to overeat and that's like seriously a problem. I deal with binge eating a lot and I'm trying to like break that and really fight myself and say like I need to have a better relationship with food because I'm constantly telling myself that I need to eat, I need to eat. Like oh like 16-8 is just not in my schedule right now. It's just not working with me but like what is it though you know or are you just trying to eat? Like our bodies are not meant to eat all the time and i want to get back to the way i was feeling when i was intermittent fasting i like the way i felt and the thing that really got me was coffee i really enjoyed my coffee uh with creamer and um a little bit of the uh, french vanilla syrup that i use and it's very low when it comes to coffee calories like my cap my caffeine <laughs> my coffee is only like 150 160 calories when you go to starbucks and the same exact thing is like 500 calories so i think i found a really good recipe because i actually measure out my creamer and actually measure out my vanilla syrup so it really does work out but I'm just going to make it work like I don't need coffee straight in the morning and I don't want to think that that's okay either like your girl can wake up drink some water and be okay but I'm telling myself mentally oh I can't I need my coffee so today yeah I did uh, I started my intermittent fasting today and I actually wanted to rank my fast at one again because I like one to nine um it just seems like to work with me 12 to 8 doesn't work with me um before when i've done it because i know that usually if we're eating out or something or if we're cooking late whatever the case may be nine o'clock works best for me to stop my fast uh actually just start my fast yeah start my fast so um yeah so i didn't get home from i didn't get out of trader joe's the grocery store until 102 so i actually fasted until like 130 145 i think it was like 145 um but yeah and honestly i was starving but like when i ate i ate fruit i broke my fast with cantaloupe a lot of cantaloupe and it was so good it was juicy and i got full off that because it's water and then i just had like a yogurt parfait it was so good and then i had me um a slice of trader joe's organic vegetable pizza it was really good but anyways so 
yeah and then that was earlier and now i am drinking my coffee like the, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the medicine but also i think i had a coffee headache because i get them a lot when i first started intermittent fasting i know it's gonna take me some time to get used to it again but i gotta do what i gotta do and i really enjoyed the way it made me feel like i was in control of my body like it made me feel very empowered as a woman also i'm gonna get back all my bcaa's every day especially with this training like every day my legs are very sore and tired uh because i did legs what was that saturday and then i'm doing legs again because i'm starting a new workout week last week i messed up with my workouts but i still got four days in but it just didn't go according to plan but i'm gonna do bcaa's daily uh and try to just cut back on like excess sugar and stuff like that like juices and stuff like well not really i did pretty good but like the little things that i think don't add up but it really does add up so this week lots and lots of water definitely gonna be drinking a gallon of water every day and i noticed uh, if you drink water as much as you do you just can't even eat that much so you know but earlier it was actually hard for me to drink water this morning during my fasting period um just because i don't know and then also i'm gonna get back on my herbalife shake so um i sell herbalife if you need the link let me know it's in the description box but i'm gonna get back to it for like um like lunch or a snack or something and i'm gonna mix it in with like almond milk almonds and bananas and ice so like a really good smoothie um the, i actually did really good with my smoothies last week and did incorporate it a lot more um so yeah i just want to you know get it together and this week really like work on some habits and stuff that i need to build uh, so i'm really excited about that one pound i lost i really wanted to lose two but i was messing up a little bit last week can't lie but honestly i'm very glad because i reached my new lowest weight and at 162.4 so that's really exciting um yeah sorry if i'm not like super hyped but my head hurts really bad um but yeah that's basically all i have to say about like um, my weigh in i'm really excited i'm like so excited to get fit and ready for summer and it's getting hot and your girl is ready to start tanning so yes very exciting let me know if you're on a fitness routine or anything um in the comments below are you doing this with me if not why not you know it don't hurt to get a little bit healthier and stuff the goal is to build a happier healthier lifestyle uh and not just say oh i need to lose this so that i can look a certain way um the key is to lose um some bad habits and implement good habits and immediately your life will be changed all right so i think now i'm gonna go into the smoothie prep and do like a voiceover um like how i'm gonna prep some smoothies for this week and yeah so thank you so much for watching don't forget to watch that part of the video uh, i'm gonna include like the calories and whatnot so yeah thank you so much guys please subscribe and keep on watching for the smoothie prep of today hi guys and welcome back so i'm gonna be talking about some of the smoothie meal prep that i'm gonna be doing um you know right now for a few days and it should last me about four days so until like thursday it is monday uh i'm gonna be taking a cup of the organic triple berry blend and then the organic sliced strawberry i got this actually from sam's um it's like a wholesale uh warehouse like you know bulk item grocery shopping and then i'm going to be taking a whole cup of organic spinach from trader joe's and then i'm going to be taking one scoop of the collagen peptides not two like they say i always just take one um because i think that's enough for me and then i am going to be taking some of these flax seeds uh it says coffee but it's flax seeds in the container actually and then i'm going to be doing some organic chia seeds as well as a half of a banana inside of each of the meal prep so as you're going to see later on inside of the video um i did not have a enough of the spinach for all four of the smoothie packs so i'm gonna show you a little bit how i'm gonna do that so also i'm gonna have this unsweetened almond milk and i put two cups uh it could change it could be less than that uh, but if i do need a little bit more liquid i will just use water so right now I'm just kind of getting everything ready and prepped inside of the container. Sorry that it's going a little bit fast uh, on the ride, um, but you know, I just had to go ahead and do that really quickly. But I did want to show you like the calories and stuff like that. It's actually really good um, calorie wise for smoothies. Uh, about 500 calories per smoothie is really good, you know, especially for breakfast. As you see like on the screen before, it did say off track because it said I was supposed to eat a little bit more 
but if I can keep my smoothie lower then that means that I can have a little bit more food for lunch dinner whatever I decide to do uh, since I am intermittent fasting I try to have at least a little bit heavier of a dinner uh, and I wouldn't really mind if I keep everything else light especially because I do want to have my coffee too and that is calories but I found a recipe where it is pretty low on calories so that's really good I'm really happy maybe I'll show it in the next video of exactly what I'm doing and I'm definitely a hot mess and I spilled uh, all of my spinach everywhere on the counter but it's okay I'll clean it up later so I want to know are you on a weight loss journey a fitness journey and if so how is it going for you um, you know it's been a little bit tough but there's officially 10 more weeks until summer so I have been doing this 10 week challenge so as you've seen in the video earlier I did lose one pound and your girl is excited turned up all types of happy um, I wanted to lose two pounds last week, but it was a little bit hard. I was struggling a little bit, so it's okay. I just decided to um, move forward and just be blessed and happy and thankful that the little things that I did do that week still allowed me to lose one pound because I kind of thought I, I actually gained and I was a little bit nervous to weigh myself today, but I did lose a pound, so that's exciting. Uh, now I'm a lot more motivated to keep it going, uh, you know, and keep it up like that. So, as you see, I'm kind of just splitting everything up, and I'm glad these bags actually uh, worked out. These are like sandwich bags, uh, reusable from, you know, Ziploc, <laughs> but I thought it wasn't going to be enough, and I was going to use full gallon bags, but then I'm like, girl, you don't have that much stuff for a smoothie, so, yeah. I really like doing this because it just makes life a lot easier when it comes to smoothie prep because... You know it just gets a little stressful and you know you, you can really switch up the fruit you can switch up whatever you put in it uh, this is just what I put in it for an easy healthy smoothie um, that's like super simple and as you see here I was first gonna do half a tea half of the tablespoon of the chia seeds but I said well chia seeds are really good for you and your gut so I just went ahead and did the whole thing but yeah so usually I would have got like a triple uh, like a super tropical blend of a smoothie packet but this time I got it at Sam's instead of like Kroger so this one's gonna be like really berry like um, uh, but I have been making a tropical smoothie that's really good I should have got it so I can like show you but it's okay and I actually use water for the tropical one not the milk and if you do want it to be a lot less sweet uh, actually well no if you do want it to be a uh, more sweet just use water instead of the almond milk almond milk kind of does mask it for me since it is unsweetened and I kind of like that it makes it like very creamy and stuff so as you see right now what I'm doing is I am putting in a about two tablespoons of organic cacao powder just because of the last smoothie pack I did not have any spinach I ran out I only had enough for three smoothies so I'm gonna put that for tonight and I'm actually gonna make that one tonight and it's gonna be uh, my dessert oh snap why am I blurry hold up mm -mm, disrespectful <laughs> but I'm just adding in some of the chocolate cacao powder so that it could be like a treat tonight so the other ones I'm gonna try to do throughout the day and this one I'm gonna do tonight so honestly you could switch it up so I didn't put the calories for this one and then I thought about it I said I didn't add anything to make the smoothie like sweet how I like it so for a healthy sweetener, I am adding one date to every one of the smoothies. And the at first I thought about it and I said, am I going to do half a date? But I said, you know what, I'm going to do the whole date because your girl likes her smoothies to still be a little bit tasty, you know? So, you know, you're probably wondering, uh, which I did not add in the calories. Uh, I probably should add it in right now and tell you exactly what the calories would be uh, with the date added. Because, you know, your girl wants to let you know the truth about the smoothie also if you're wondering if all of the um the powders and stuff will get stuck to the bag you know it'll actually get stuck to the fruit and it'll be like a big glob so uh you can actually defrost it for a little bit and then you know take it out a little bit and then just you know throw it in there but yeah so let me add this date and see exactly what it's gonna be so it's only 24 calories actually so it's really not that bad um yeah so in total it's 521 calories uh so that's good 
so it's only one up 24 calories so not too bad still healthy still in a good range uh, so this is all for my smoothies thank you so much for watching guys uh let me know if you want different smoothie ideas i can definitely do that i have a lot of ideas in mind and i'm really thankful you watched this video please subscribe thank you so much for watching this video my name is autumn and i would love if you stuck around for another one bye guys